Have you ever wondered what is a Harvard MBA education ecosystem or have you ever wondered what are your chances of experiencing Harvard education ecosystem with your current GMAT score then welcome to my channel i'm taking a chai break my name is shatakshi i'm an entrepreneur and ex m ex bcg uh, with an isp mba and of course with a harvard uh, exchange experience as well and on my channel I have been putting out absolutely regular content around MBA around management consulting and personal finance so feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button every time I am putting out content so that you get notified so it's a very interesting question shatakshi and i get a lot of those questions in my chat and in the comment section on my youtube channel shatakshi can you walk us through the entire howard the uh, education ecosystem and we would love to know about it so watch till the end because i would also tell you how did i manage to actually experience the harvard education ecosystem with a gmat which was below 750 typically my friends uh, who went to harvard uh, mba they all had more than 750 gmat uh, gmat scores so largely i'm going to be dividing this entire video into two parts first one is the experience second one is how did i really manage to get in and uh, in terms of experiencing uh, experiences i will let's start with the first one which is definitely around classes so first and foremost when i talk about my harvard uh, graduate experience the and uh, the two classes largely that i took was one was at harvard kennedy school of government for those of you who don't know it's the mpp program largely masters in public policy program based uh, school of harvard so harvard is largely a university and they have four five schools in fact more than that there is chan school of public health there is harvard business school there is harvard kennedy school and other schools as well and then the second class that i took was at harvard business school along with the mba graduates there so let's first talk about my experience of taking a class at harvard kennedy school so this was a very interesting class so uh, for two reasons first one is because i was taught by the former new york mayor about public uh, you know public sector innovation and the second reason is as my class was going on it was a mid career professional class and i happened to become really lucky and the professor allowed me to sit in that class um, and i remember there was uh, this american who was sitting right next to me and he was just really cu cool curious guy and at the end of every class he would just be curious and ask me about stock market situation in india because i had worked in government of india and had worked on national policies he would always be curious about my stance on national policies in india and i would always be like hey why are you so curious to talk to me uh, about all these interesting questions and i remember then when it was my last class uh he happened to ask me so what are your plans to do uh after your uh, graduation and i said i'm joining bcg and he said no great deal uh, i happen to work with uh, bain and cap uh, bain and company first and uh, now bain and capital bain capital bain capital is actually another uh it's a private equity firm largely of the main company bain and company and guess what he was the managing director at bain capital in london and the guy uh had a son who was studying in harvard and the guy had taught at how uh, london business school and duke also at some point of time and he was just being so curious and uh, and i had a very great time eventually taking classes with him and in fact it's a very separate topic altogether where i learned to be extremely humble and curious uh not once did he tell me that he is the managing director at bain capital eventually i went to his linkedin and figured out oh my god he is the uh, managing director in bain capital in fact on that particular class the, uh, on my left hand side there was an is officer mid career is officer who was sitting and taking classes so yes howard uh, can be very overwhelming in terms of the kind of people who are sitting on your left and right it was a very interesting class i learned from the former new york mayor himself he would get a lot of interesting guest speaker i remember there was a guest speaker uh, who had worked in mckinsey before and then she was working in the state department had a very good chat around how many a time schools are not teaching us the skills that we need is the mckinsey bcgs of the world that eventually teach us a lot of interesting skills and uh, yeah that's exact uh, that's overall a gist of my experience of harvard kennedy school in terms of the classes because the first topic that i'm touching in terms of experience are about classes 
then i moved to harvard business school so for those who has who have been to boston or who have been here in cambridge they know that harvard business school is actually the school which is across the river so charles river is this famous river here in boston um a, there are two sides of course to the river and business school harvard hbs is the only school uh, of harvard university which is uh, on the other side of uh, uh, the river and uh, Uh, i think i had a great time it was an extremely full class we were learning how to launch technology ventures and uh, i made a made a lot of interesting friends i think two things that really stood out for me in terms of my classes at harvard business school the first one was just my peer network uh, very enthusiastic very talented on their toes all the time this this really interesting thing that i absolutely fell in love with during my classes at hps was no laptops were on and if i'm not wrong they have a no laptop policy in the class they eventually know what are students doing on their laptop if they have their laptops on so uh, everyone was focused everyone had their numbers right we would do these calculations around ltv to cac ratio which is lifetime value to customer acquisition cost uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if you may want to learn all of those interesting things as well and um, largely the professor was just top notch he's a award winning professor around uh, business and entrepreneurship especially in technology domain and uh, for my own venture in fact uh, he guided me a lot when i was at howard business school so all right that's the first section around classes of my experience at uh, howard both at howard kennedy school and howard business school which brings me towards the second point which is of course again my favorite which is around travel the fact that i flew from new delhi took my first international flight in life at an age of 28 and eventually landed here in boston and this is 3 years ago and of course now in boston for personal reasons that uh, it just really opened a lot of uh, horizons for me i've always maintained that if you get an opportunity if you can arrange funds um, in as cheap uh, fashion as possible you should experience study abroad mba and of course once again from a really good school and uh, the walk here in cambridge was so lovely it gets really cold here especially i did january to may semester here in howard so it would get pretty cold in fact this year also we witnessed temperatures uh, as extreme as minus 18 and minus 19 so initially i think my mind and body were in shock because uh, you are coming from new delhi the max that you are seeing is probably 6 or 7 and suddenly it's minus 15 minus 16 here but eventually when you get accustomed and i still remember if i close my eyes i would just imagine all my walk next to charles river uh, i am really fortunate in life to once again be next to charles river my my house now is just 6 minutes away from charles river i do go there periodically to experience really beautiful walks i have always maintained on my channel how much i am in love with walks in life uh, but that's a separate topic altogether so yeah that's the second point that i wanted to talk about which is just travel i got to travel internationally for the first time live in a very international community for the first time which is a very beautiful junction at which i could not now talk about the third lever in my first section which is just experiences uh, which is about people so largely at howard i just for uh, i just lost the count of different nationalities that i interacted made friends and became part of a community so uh, in fact howard kennedy school which is the masters in public policy school Uh, my assignments i did with one mexican one brazilian the brazilian was eventually joining mckinsey office in brazil and like i said the kind of people in my kennedy school is officers managing director bain capital and when i eventually went to harvard business school for my launching technology venture class then um, on my leco she is working in san francisco in a leading tech organization and uh, a lot of mexican uh, a lot of indonesian chinese students are still friends with me so uh, i think uh, you really learn how to think differently because the nationalities the culture their root their roots and their experiences are very different than ours and uh, the one key thing that i took away during my experience at uh, harvard if i were to take a full circle for section number 1 which is around experiences was largely around that uh, people diverse diversity is of utmost importance and uh, you could fill a room with homogenous section just engineers just male but you will not become the best version of yourself even if you are able to get a good job and uh, many a times in fact very public organizations have failed because they did not have diverse 
professionals in their team or even if they had they did not allow them to speak them up all right which brings me towards the second section how was i able to experience harvard education even uh, with a gmat below 7 uh, 750 i have uh, i have always maintained that i got a gmat of 690 and that too after a lot of attempts as a non engineer and if you want to see a new video from me about how did i even manage to get a 690 and get to isp mba uh as a non engineer feel free to let me know in the comments but largely coming back and giving a uh, giving you the answer how did i manage to get uh, into harvard mba without uh, a 750 gmat score and uh, if you can experience that so when i was at isp isp mba hyderabad campus i was very clear that i wanted to experience uh, a study abroad and international exposure for that i had applied to fletcher school of law and diplomacy so fletcher school is actually an international uh, affairs and diplomacy school here in boston and that is what i had gotten when uh, when i was selected to become an exchange student here and very luckily it was only later just 3 days before i was taking my boston flight i realized and i got to know that as a fletcher student i could take classes at harvard and mit also uh, of course i decided to take classes at harvard i had specific subjects and topics that i wanted to learn and uh, hps harvard business school and kennedy both made sense in fact a lot of my isb peers were later on so envious they said we never knew that fletcher school of law and diplomacy uh, has a formal collaboration with harvard business school and harvard kennedy we would have also applied for fletcher but haha ha, of course they were uh, they were late but nonetheless i'm still dear friends with all of my peers at isb mba and that's it from my side i hope you like this interesting insightful journey that i shared with all of you about my harvard uh, education experience and if you have a chance i got really lucky and but i did get uh, a lifelong experience uh, which is unparalleled and uh, now that i'm in boston a very dear friend in fact two friends are right now studying at kennedy and hp a school so i keep on going on to the campus have have chai have coffee and if you like uh, chai cheers with you again and like i said on my channel i discuss about free mba free consulting and free personal finance uh, experiences so feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button and if you want to actually experience a global alternative uh, to a traditional mba feel free to check out my education initiative globalgovernanceinitiative.org take care stay safe bye bye